Hi, everybody. Welcome. It's Friday night. Uh, I've got a bunch of shit that I actually had to censor for this video. <laughs> I had Thank to God actually... This is one of the few bits of information you didn't share with me. <laughs> oh? Be very welcome. I didn't want to get in trouble legally like the person involved in this story may be. So that is why I took the precautions to censor things out that they chose not to. And so, you mean precautions? Uh, yeah, the precautions, yes. <laughs> you make that, you, you know how to make the furry puns, but you're not a furry. I am not, I am not. I, I own two cats and two dogs. Implicating yourself. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Go ahead. Keep talking. Pretend like I'm not here. Oh, man. So, the person I'm going to be talking about tonight. It's a gentleman called Anthony Poe, or Ant Poe. And he actually got in a bit of drama recently. He's a Jersey boy. He's actually from roughly the same area that I'm from. Big channel. Very big channel. Uh, what is it? Uh, da -da -ba -ba -ba. 1.78 million it. subscribers. Uh -huh. Um, Has been doing stuff. Basically kind of did like all these college like Honey type fucking things as how he fucking started his channel, you know, being a stupid college kid, basically, and doing skits. Cool. And like it was a comedy based channel. Well, I'm not going to ruin it, but if you were going on his uh, YouTube fandom wiki, whatever the fuck you want to call it, there is actually the drama now tacked to him that we're going to go over that happened just in May. This guy did some shit that was fucking awful. And when we get to it, I will explain it. But be happy. I did the hard work. I I censored out all the stuff. Just be happy. <laughs> I did actually I did actually delete a tiny bit out of the video. Like just a tiny bit because it was too much of an implication that I didn't want it tied to anybody's persona, and I wasn't going to do that to any furries out there. They don't deserve it. What I'm after is this man and what he fucking did to furries, which is kind of fucked up. But anyway, uh, Anthony is... Uh... Go ahead. Make it sound like he was a furry hunter. Like he's He's actually in some legal trouble. Like, oh, potentially, boy. like... Could get sued. Like, serious. And, yeah. And could end up going to jail over stuff he did. Ooh. Yeah. He, he's in serious trouble. Like, this guy's a complete asshole. And I will treat him as such because of it. Like, okay, I make like, fun and I poke at the furry stuff. I've also covered furries that, like, I had the story with the whole Furcon drama. And actually talked to uh, uh, Fox Glove and cool fucking dude. A lot of the furries that I've talked to. There's there's a big stark difference. There is furries and then all the other ones that make up all the shit that you hear about furries. All the degenerate shit, all the fucked up shit. It's like a small subsect, but they fucking make up for the whole fucking group, let me tell you. They're the loudest. <laughs> I mean, we've got we've covered everything from furry terrorist to like uh god, just awful fucking people like uh hypnotist sappho and a couple other ones yes. like they're <laughs> nazi furs like i've literally run the gambit here so this was the first time i'm going after someone for faking being a furry and for committing actual crimes so anthony poe this guy worked with mr beast according to him by the way the only thing I've heard of or could track down, because I searched for a while. I spent a good hour and a half trying to, like, track down the actual video. Because there's apparently one video. One. One fucking video. Where he worked with Mr. Beast. And he claims Mr. Beast. You'll hear about it. And that he worked with him. So, wait. He just did, like, a one-off collab and tried to make it sound like he was, like, Chris Tyson and was, like, yes. there the whole time? Yes. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> In fact, the only Anthony that you can find with Mr. Beast, like, actually directly tied to Mr. Beast, is Anthony Padilla. And Anthony Padilla and Anthony Poe are different people, and Poe is a shortened version of his actual name. 
His full name is uh, Fadero. He's like, oh, that's close enough. I I can claim him. Yeah. <laughs> so like, like, sound like guy. yeah, it, it's kind of sketchy. And like, if you didn't look hard enough, the results. If you pull up Anthony P, like you're really gonna pull a lot of results that refers to this other person who actually looks similar, but is not him. So it's kind of it's kind of really interesting. Actually, I'll I'll pull up uh, Padilla. Because I actually had to look him up. Like, he actually looks pretty fucking similar, like, if you didn't know the timeline. Like, here, if we get into more images, like, here. It's starting startlingly similar, but it oh, is him. not him. It is not Padilla. This That's is cool. Anthony Poe, specifically. So this guy, uh, again, he's got a... One and a half million, well, one and three quarter mil subscriber channel. He's got TikToks. He's big on the fucking TikTok scene, just being a fucking Gen Z, whatever. Um, Insta, Twitter, and we're going to actually get to some shit that happened on Twitter, but he's been doing this since 2016. So well before he was even out of high school, he started this channel. And he's basically built it off of his college career. Like, if you look at his actual video, like, playlist, I mean, it's 151 videos, but, like, a majority of them are like, uh, there was a Ben 10 at my, defending my college as Ben 10. And like, we made horrible school superheroes and like, just that kind of shit, like really grifting off the same type of shit as Mr. Beast. I think he wow. has a parasocial feeling towards him. He sounds like <laughs> a mix of like Mr. Beast and like college humor. Yes, very much so. Very much so. And so this guy did a video. That got taken down. <clears throat> this video that was taken down, I found it. I found the original. Oh. <laughs> and oh, so my. what I did was I took the original, kept it because I can show you the differences. Like we can jump to the part where the differences are. And you'll see basically everything I censored, he had to take out, but we're going to go over like what happened and everything else, but you'll see the stark difference. So I took out probably five seconds, maybe 10 seconds worth of like actual, a part that like I, I, there was no censoring it. There was no covering it up and it definitely would have given away somebody's identity as a persona. And I'm not about to do that shit, especially with this shit. I can kind of agree with that, especially with given how <laughs> scummy this dude is. Just yeah. not wanting that person to well, be like he gave a, he gave a bunch of unique identifying factors too to this person. So it was more than just a persona. It was like some other descriptors there that I was like, ah, this guy. If you know him, you might be able to find him. So this is his current video. His current video has been shortened by at least a few minutes if you look at it. So my version is seventeen and a half minutes. He's now down to 15 minutes. So he's cut two and a half minutes out, at least, maybe 245. He's also now tied this to a fundraiser for the Trevor Project, which if you know what the Trevor Project is, like, do you guys know? No. Yeah, and that's what makes it scummier. All right. I have no idea what the pro Trevor, Trevor Project, Project is. Trevor Project is actually kind of fucked up if you know the history about it. Because isn't like, it supposed to support, like, uh, trans people to getting help? To well, it was, it was put in place by a guy that uh, was named Trevor, who was uh, outed as being gay and then transgender in uh, Montana, if I'm correct. I'm not looking up the story. I'm literally going off the top of my head. Anyway, he was actually uh, beat up and murdered just because of that alone in Montana. Yeah. And so the Trevor Project was actually established to help lgbtq people um with any any needs so like especially like counseling assistance and stuff like that like it's a really big deal but yeah he, it was an actual crime that like it interests me it interests me i mean it's all been done and solved but like five guys literally beat the crap like emmett toll style out of him and if you don't know who emmett toll is hill is it Till? Emmett Till. The Emmett Till. Emmett Till. Sorry. Emmett Till. Yeah. All right. Sorry. So Emmett Till. Oh, uh, ba, 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 ba. Killed the baby. They, they killed the. They, 
to kill his yeah, they, baby. Yeah, here's a... Nope, I thought that was a death mask for a second. Yo, he got tore up. He like he got. He was he, he was, was literally like, yeah, that's his head. Wasn't like, there a movie based on this case? On Trevor, yeah, yeah, there was. That's what I thought. Yep, I've watched it. It's actually pretty good. It's a pretty moving movie, but yeah. So this fuckhead <clears throat> uh, sits here and he makes this video. And I've watched, there's two videos that I was able to really find quickly that are kind of popular out there. Um, one is by like Boring Brad or something, or Brad is Boring, one or the other. Um, the other I am not even going to recommend because the guy says allegedly, blah, 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 every fucking five seconds and it's annoying as hell. Um, <laughs> not a mental cheese. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so this guy really starts off and he does some shitty shit right off the bat to furries in general. And I'm going to kind of, I'll start playing it. I'll point his shit out as it goes along. Hey, lovely people. It's Anthony Poe. Oh, I was like, like creating like C4 explosives. So right off the bat, he has this person. Like mentioning fucking C4 explosives at the furry con, it makes him look fucking shitty already. Like, what, six seconds into the fucking video? Like creating like C4 explosives. Stop hating on <laughs> Thank you, uh, Sigma Paw. Sigma Paw. Hey, what are you doing? I'd like to apologize in advance to my friends and to my family and to YouTube and to literally anybody who happens to watch this video. It's oh, that's the craziest. Ukulele. Yeah, yeah, he's pulling a Colleen Ballinger like, right here. You can't even take it seriously. Like, and what's funny is, is you know how many kids. people he apologizes to, but not fucking furries for the shit that he fucking pulls. To literally yeah, anybody just, who happens to watch this video, like just a big dick. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's he's like the fucking high school jock type that just grew up and got a channel. Like he's like you know talking there, and it's like cool. At five minutes, and I can make a Timothy McVeigh joke already. Okay, yeah. but what? Why did he bring up Jacob Alfred? I saw that guy. Yeah, you'll see. Oh boy, what he's, did he say about Jacob? He's cool. These, he's friends with some of these people. Oh jeez. It's the craziest. Just, I'm sorry. Everybody knows furries. They've been a laughing stock of the internet for the better part of two decades, at least as long as I can remember. It's always kind of bugged me a little bit because I'm like, are furries honestly that bad? That now, okay. Not the worst start ever, but immediately fucking tanks this. That's not the main thing I want to talk about today. I want to talk about furry parties. And he immediately fucks up the next thing, which is the fact that they're actually called room parties. So what he's yeah. talking about, every time you hear a furry party, he's actually talking about room parties, something that goes on at basically every fucking con. It doesn't matter if it's a furry con, it goes on at fucking all comic con shit like that. Like, it's a room party. And this fucking numb nuts of a fucking human being couldn't even get that much right. So he yes. spends literally the next fucking 17 minutes calling it a furry party. He just has such a punchable face. He does. He look at it. Like, look at it. He has like that, like square, like jock. I think I'm important, but I'm really not in face. We you can just want to nail your fist in. Yeah. You just want to nail your <laughs> fist into it. Like, <laughs> but to be fair, when you have an agenda against a certain people, yeah, who can't like I? But that's the thing is he's gonna try and play it off as though he doesn't. Yeah, we, listen, he he's got that's Biden is so much furries. Um, I, I'm just saying that for him, when you have a Biden is against people, he he's gonna do what he wants. But I I'm just seeing. I'm just commenting as I go along. Yeah, I, don't no, want... I don't care. You can you can play contrarian. I, I am not going to be upset I, about it. If you want to point out that favorite... I'm being a little too much over the top. <laughs> but listen, like, I think I really quickly, I know you were trying to preamble by saying you're not, I think you're saying you're not a friend of furries or something like that, maybe. Yeah, I poke sure. fun at them. Yeah. Yeah, we poke fun. Listen, 
we you you brought to my table, my porch, as it were, of D <laughs> Gen shit. Yes. So it's not like this this sect of of uh, of people uh, are not without stone. I'm just no, saying. no, like- no, and I agree with that wholly. I mean, like I said, there's a lot to not like about furries. Like you could go after. Like the terroristic people, the awful fucking people, the cord kitties, the hypnotist sapphos, the fucking awful, the guy with the pizza that I showed you that got you like, holy fuck. Like, Don't remind me. <laughs> like th- yeah. this is going after them as a whole and it's going after people with a disingenuous layer to it. That is, it's very prevalent and I don't agree with this. Like this is just going after furries in general. And it's kind of fucked up because if you look up, like, FurryCon, right? You're going to see so many of these uh, pressed at a FurryCon, got in a fight at a FurryCon, got caught at a FurryCon, like, type videos. And they're all, like, the same type of fucking guy. Like, here's another one. Trolling furries at a FurryCon. Like, it's... The same type of shit. Trolling furries at a furry con again. Did I just see bluey characters at furry con? <laughs> no. Uh, but like, oh, did I just see a no-no brush? I just saw. A no-no <laughs> but like, listen, say what you will about fucking flash kids. That's in a uh, try to be random, but that right there on your mouse, fire yeah. shit. Cinema. <laughs> I love fucking Warhammer, the black, the black Templars versus the fucking furries. God bless. But yes, I get what you're trying to say. You you, you shouldn't disparage a whole a group. Whole a whole group. group is like kind of. That's like saying, oh, you know, apple. I guess you. I, I, I'm trying to think of a way to not get canceled with what I was about to say. Like, <laughs> fuck all LGBTQ people. Like that's not. That's kind of fucked up to say. Like, you can have your issues resulting from certain people, but to say a whole fucking section of people is it's garbage. Behavior. It's the behavior, not the people. It's the behavior. It's the, it, it's the arrogance. It's the whole... Um... Their arrogance as the furries? No, you... Like, or them I, as the creators. What I mean is, like, you, you know how, like, you get people that 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 don't push their agenda or push their sexuality or their beliefs on people. Like how Christian like you know there are some Christians that don't push their Christian yeah. beliefs on people. Yeah. And then there are some people that beat you over the head with Yeah, them. that are literally standing outside of like an abortion clinics protesting. Yeah. Yeah. Copy and paste that to furries, the bronies, to whoever. Yeah. And you can see why there's there's a a dislike in the community. That's all. I get what like, you're saying. I, I don't agree with it. I don't. I don't agree with it whether they're fucking Christian, Muslim, liberal, LGBT, straight. I don't give a fuck. I hate it no matter what. Just don't copy and paste your book. Don't be like, oh, you're going to like this because I you're going to like it. No, I don't. Look at like these that. people. They're degenerate. They don't follow my moral code. Like, there is so many other fucking people out there to pick on. Like I, I don't understand why you have to go after whole groups of people. You know, I, I, I don't mean to derail you, Patrick, but quickly just say, I'll say this: there, when you see pictures on Twitter of like furries in a fur costume in public, you know, walking around and having kids pet them, it's innocent, right? It's it's innocent, but I. You know, as an adult, that's not what it's supposed to be. You don't want your kids exposed to that type of thing. And granted, you know, you're walking in a park, you're walking in public, and they just happen to be there. And and again, you don't want younger generations to be exposed. Oh, yeah, like, I wouldn't want to see somebody walking around in a gimp suit. Like, I I feel the same way. I, I get what you're saying. Like I, 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 again, that's not the it's not the whole though. That's my problem. It's painting the whole that way, and yeah. like I get you're saying it's their style of content. I'm just saying I disagree with it regardless. Of course, I don't, I don't course. care who they are. I, I it, it could be a totally like insert different group with different group going after them. 
if you're going after a whole group, it's kind of fucking ridiculous. I don't listen. He he looks like he looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm not saying you persecute everyone. Persecute those that deserve to be persecuted. That's it. Yeah. And well, please, so, go ahead. but no, this guy, like I said, I'm going after him for different reasons, but I am going to nitpick the living shit out of this fucking video. Okay. Furry parties have been a topic of discussion on the internet for as long as I've known what a furry is. Furries getting in a room at conventions and exploring each other's bodies. I've seen so many videos about furries in my time. They're acting, he's, the thing is, is he's acting like it's such a nuanced concept to only fucking furries. That's part right. of what bothers me here. Again, well, this is something annoying. that goes on at all conventions. You well, can yeah, find it, it anywhere. It's just not furry culture to have hookup parties. That's yeah. just it's basically not. that's that's just basically how like large social gatherings, especially if you when are... it comes from a more like counterculture yeah. community. If Wait. you are grown adults and you just happen to want to do that consensual shit, then do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. It's not a culture. VidCon, TwitchCon, AnimeCon. Yeah. Yeah. Now fuck up where, show me where please show me where you heard the term room parties in those three big conventions. Oh, I was TwitchCon? Yeah. Oh, there's whole fucking oh. houses. There's whole house parties yeah. and shit I've heard about. There's there's like house, No no but but the term room party sounds But I'm out. saying there's whole houses where like it's been hookup parties. There's Airbnbs for it. Yeah, like they'll, like we'll they'll actually, like Airbnb. you're talking about people at a different level than even furries. They're renting whole homes and having parties like this. It's like renting a floor of a Can't hotel <laughs> and doing it. Yeah. It's not but then medically you're illegal. Call out the guy that went to the room at a motel for a night. I mean, Comic Con? There's tons of hookups at Comic Con, like constantly. I haven't been to this year's VidCon yet, so. But yeah, like I, I'm not trying to dissuade what you're saying, but yeah, no, the, Huggy, there's there's people that like even at like TwitchCon and shit, I've heard of of like whole homes were rented, not just a room party. It was a whole home party just for fucking hookups and shit. Well, how how many fucking times have we seen like TwitchCon drama? Yeah. I was essayed or I was raped here, yeah. and it was at one of these parties. Yeah. Yeah, I the mean the Katie Bugs thing. Yep. Yeah, that whole literally is based on that. Yeah. Here on YouTube, but I have never seen a video about furry parties. Are they real? Who goes to them? Are they bad? The past year since I had quit YouTube, I've done two things. One, work for Mr. Beast. See what I mean by he like flaunts it. Oh, that was such good censorship. Oh, let me believe that harder. Yeah, yeah. You know, he, he really, he tried so hard. You know, this 1.75 million sub YouTuber channel couldn't afford an editor that it could actually cover that up. He knows damn well he's cloud chasing off his name. Yeah, but and like I said, from what I understand, well. it's one video. This this isn't like the people, like, if you looked up, it's so obscure to even find the video where he worked with Mr. Beast. I couldn't find it. I can find other shit like this pretty fucking quickly. <laughs> Thanks for giving Mr. Beast the watch time, though. <laughs> and two, role play as a furry for 200 days. Here's a quick montage. To By the way, I strongly, 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 strongly do not believe that he spent 200 days as a furry. I believe he may have spent five. At most. <laughs> if he's LARPing on Discord, maybe. Well, wait till you see this LARP. Like, like wait till you see the LARP. This oh. is all the LARP he's going to show. To hide how lame it is to be a YouTuber unboxing a fursona. Oh, fursona, in case you didn't know. Is an anthropomorphic animal character adopted as an idealized or stylized representation of oneself. Oh. My fursona's name was Sigma Paws, and this would bite me in the ass later when I tried to register for events and no one took me seriously. Now, how was I going to determine the existence? By the way, I totally believe this guy took Sigma paws off a of Ligma. Like, I totally believe he can just took that fucking joke and was like, oh, I'm going to make it funny by calling it Sigma paws. Right, he's trying to be like funny and based and he just comes off as like cringe and pathetic. Yes. You'll, you'll never be as good as telephone. 
You'll never be as good as telephone! <laughs> of these furry parties well going to a furry convention i really needed to immerse myself in this culture right i can't just show up to these conventions and then gain their trust as a non-furry now this sigma paws fursuit was only 700 dollars all up all in which is very cheap for the furry community which only made the challenge of getting into one of these furry parties even more difficult now in my quest to fully commit to the bit i tried to wear the costume as much as i could for 200 days straight i would work in it i would go literally this is all one day that you're just gonna keep seeing flashes from. Places Where in the it. Fuck I would did you get that fur suit from? It doesn't look right. No, he no just, did you get uh, it commissioned? <laughs> or did you no. actually get it? Oh him? no, he absolutely do you think he would get a commission? No. No. He bought one. Oh, no, he got an ugly hand. ass pre-built fursuit? <clears throat> yeah, if not second hand. Yeah. Yuck! I can see it. I mean, because I've seen some fursuits that are actually extremely intricate that have, like, yeah. working animatronic tails or, like, LED eyes. lights and, like, wings for, like, dragons yeah, and shit. Know, yeah, I know people who know how to really make the fursuits really cool, but, like, that's just, like, ugh. Yeah. Content as my fursona. I uploaded roughly once every two to three days and started building- Still the same fucking video when he went out and did the snowboarding. Same jacket and everything still here. Building a pretty consistent fan base. Could basically be the same thing. He just threw the fucking head and speed on. Also started getting a lot of haters. Stop hating on... By the way, totally believe that. Building a pretty consistent fan base. This video. Also started getting... And this video were short, shortly after each other, considering he's wearing the same fucking pants. A lot of haters. Stop hating on fans. I communicated with my fellow furries. Hey cutie, love the videos. I'm not allowed near schools. Hey Sigma, just wanted to let you know I saw your recent video about that pig's head. Whoever sent me the severed pig head, fuck you! Don't let them get to you, buddy. They don't deserve you. Thank you so much. I live streamed a couple times. There's some other shit that I also know about this too that I'll get into where he totally fucked over like a furry business and everything else and all of this too. He's literally playing a character just to mock them. Yes. Like, this is literally uh, like, like this. this is literally like him mocking like an actual community. Yes. And like, I will refute one of your points from earlier. We don't know if it's the same day. He just might be really gross and just wears the same clothing all the time. But from ladies and gentlemen, you see, you, you have to, and it's, it's fucked up to say this, but in, in the layman's eyes, Fuck them. So, they, they can bully fuck them. Yeah, but he's because also a million sub channel in the shit that he does, Huggy. Like, we haven't even gotten to it. We're not going to get to it until, like, the last third of the video. It's truly I'm, illegal. I'm, I'm just, what, I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say to you is, like, even all of this stupid shit that you, that you guys are, like, rightfully saying it's, it's cringe. Again, people will be like, ha fuck, ha fuck furries. Fuck them. That, yeah, they deserve to be whatever. And it's fucked up to, to say it in that context. But the public... If you don't change public perception to to tolerance, then this shit's gonna keep on going underneath the radar. Yeah, and it's it's not gonna help, though, when you got a fucking million... 1.3... Well, 1 and 3 quarter million sub-channel where, like, when he put this video out here... You know how many people saw it before he ever took it down and edited it? <clears throat> 500,000. Oh, boy. Yeah. So he's not helping at all. At all, at all. So, like, he, he a majority, a good half of his fucking subscriber base saw this video, saw these fucking people who were recorded against their fucking consent, like, or without consent, which is a really big fucking issue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, like, so, yeah, I think just as he's willing to now openly mock furries, I think I should be as willing to, or able to openly mock him for being a complete fucktard doing this. I agree. I agree. I agree. Like, I, I think he's he should have known better, especially when we get to the apology, where he talks about having a legal team help him. Like, the average furry is not going to have enough money to hire a legal team to help them write an apology, even. Yeah, it's 
just anyone in general won't wouldn't have that yeah furry or not like yeah. it's like this guy is well above and should not be doing this shit I can't believe I'm actually defending furries after yeah, I know. <laughs> like it feels so surreal to be on the other side arguing like a point and not playing devil's advocate like being like oh well, that must mean that you're a furry yeah. well you, you scared that, now we have you here for demographics they you coming straight to my There's life, I Daniel. Uh, I fuck on your bitch and my sandals. Now, although I reached a thousand followers on the Sigma Paws TikTok, it's not like exactly where I want to. Which is a nothing accomplishment. Like if you did enough for like a week or two, you probably could reach that. Like I, I had fucking two hundred fifty followers, and I think I actually put maybe maybe a week's worth of activity where I posted like one video every three days. Yeah, because TikTok's so inflated. Yes. It is heavily inflated. The Sigma pause to be going into the convention. That being said, I got posted on cringe subreddits all the time. Is Cody Co a top or a bottom? Bottom, obviously. I have more money than you get a like! If they had good money, they wouldn't have such an ugly fursuit, lol. I'm really starting to get a feel for the furry community. <laughs> so after spending 200 hey, days at Sigma <laughs> What? They're not wrong. Yeah, they weren't wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I took a seven hour drive up to the furry convention, but I wouldn't be arriving. Now, okay, I want to go back. I want to go back. Oh, to... After spending 200 days at Sigma uh... Paws, I took a seven hour drive up. Okay. You see where he's going to? To the furry. No. Yeah. Hooters. That is the state of Massachusetts. Oh, no. Oh my god, I'm going to spell this awfully. <laughs> <laughs> You're on stream. Don't don't mess it up. Don't mess Mats it up. Mats Mass. <laughs> Just like a mass. Massachusetts law prohibits secretly recording conversations, including uh, in-person, telephone, electronic communications, without the consent of all parties. Basically, Basically, a two-party two consent consent. state. Yeah. He's going to literally break this law numerous times. Oh, question. No. What'd you say, Jim? I have a question for you. Yeah, how about it? Now, when you went to uh, Google search, when you typed NMA, it, <laughs> it showed, like, autocorrect for, like, Magnum. <laughs> Dude, were you planning on shooting yourself after censoring this video? No. Were you no. like looking up firearms to commit? Suicide? No, I. I we have. We can talk about it if you need to. It's I have a twelve gauge. Trust me, I will get the job done. I don't even need to see well to do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you silly man! I have the tools greater, far greater than what you guys suggested. I've got fucking kill those, or I will make sure the job is complete. <laughs> well, I'm concerned, but also happy. I guess. <laughs> yeah, so he goes from New Jersey to Massachusetts doing this furry convention, but I wouldn't be arriving without a plan starting with suiting up I have two special guests that also need fursuits So I got to get them fursuits and then after that attending events I don't want to immediately, you know put my neck out there I want to go to like dances and panels and stuff like that after that I'm gonna start marketing directly I have a couple funny ideas prepared and then hopefully that leads to me getting into a party. That's not the final step, though. The final step, STD test. Step one. I had two people helping me with this whole thing. Number what one, the YouTube event of the- <laughs> oh, You have yeah. to have two people help you get an STD test? Well, How incompetent are you? Well, not the you just STD go to your test. doctor's office. He had to have to somebody, like, he had to have somebody film him because God, he can't be bothered at, you know, uh, one point, Seven five million sub channel to hold his own camera. You can't expect him to do all that fucking work now, can you, Jim? Uh, I mean, yeah, he, he I couldn't be bothered to look up the law that took me how long to Google on stream to know whether he could actually record this stuff ahead of time without consent. But he had to hire these people to help him out. This guy, oh. The week, and more importantly, my cameraman, Travis. If you guys are going to come to this convention, you guys need outfits. So I've prepared a bunch for you guys, and I'll let you pick. <laughs> so yeah, this is the first one. Ta-da! Garfield costume. This one's a... Huggy. 
So yeah, this is the first. A huggy outfit. Oh, oh huggy! Oh, I didn't Kiwi. know you were a fur. This has got to be oh, your first soda. How dare you! <laughs> now I know why. Now I know why Huggy has your hates eyes. furries so much. It has your eyes, Huggy. <laughs> I I I don't want to. Person... <laughs> Y'all deserve to go to the next sick of a fall, goddamn. You. Well, I'm gonna stick up for you here for a second, Huggy. Kiwi, do you realize how soulless the eyes in that thing are? <laughs> It's the soulless as Huggy. It's like the oh, void wow. I believe in. <laughs> Huggy, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It was a joke, Huggy. Please don't make a call out post on me. That. No, sorry. Uh, First one. Ta-da. Garfield costume. This one's a good one. Yeah. Dog. Wait, something's like coming over me. <laughs> By the way, also, if we do anything embarrassing, um, immediately... No, wait. Travis! Tra his name is Travis! His name is Travis! <laughs> After Ben got into his first suit and donned the name Dragon Dees, we were ready to go. <laughs> These are just Halloween costumes, like... <laughs> like, this is further insulting, but like, okay, cool, like, I get it, I get the bit, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Travis! <laughs> Wait. Before I even got to the convention, I started making friends. What's your guys' names? Drewski. Cool. Drewski, cool. Nice to meet you. I'm Sigma. Although initially surprised to meet famous comedian Drewski at a furry convention, I quickly became his friend. I was afraid my cheap looking fursuit would scare people away, but being around Ben was actually a blessing in disguise because his fursuit sucked. It doesn't go fuck around really. Anyways, before we got into some of the meat of the convention, we found ourselves enjoying some of the fantastic events. Now, I want to say, step two here, he actually, for whatever reason, this event was actually like very chill about this because I have seen other furry videos where like people try this bit and they don't make it past step two. Like they will immediately get kicked out. Like if they sense there's anything up, they get ejected. You know what's really like just causing me to twitch and rage right now? Sure, what? <laughs> So, so he's like, my fursuit sucks, all of this shit, yet these people are still being welcoming to this guy. Yeah. They're still embracing him as a member of their community, and he still has the audacity to be such a fucknut to them. They embraced Carpet Kitty and Cord Kitty. They will gladly, gladly take you, buddy. You do not know those who have tread the walls before you. <laughs> no, the wall that you should go up against though but that's story. i'm just saying like like do you know the uh, carpet kitty i am going to preface or make sure that we get the correct thing here hopefully it's hello kitty <laughs> uh i'm not gonna get the persona i bet you if i YouTube did though. All you need is telephone. That's, that's all you need. <laughs> oh, of course. There's a mobile game? There we go. There's Carpet Kitty. And as you can see, uh, Reek Like Death was the. There's Cord right there, too. So you have the two. This one actually had cum stains on it. And this one was okay. made from a... <laughs> unable to be sterilized. It was actually someone who created fursuits. And they had just piecemealed this whole fursuit together for themselves out of scraps. And apparently never took care of it. So it just smelled like college dorm carpet. So it's basically spring trap. Yeah, like here. <laughs> Except less blood. Yeah, yeah. It, and it's, dead kids. Yeah. But yeah, so like, when this guy's like, oh, they're so accepting. Like? Furry parade! Because of this parade, I knew there was over 3,000 people at this event, and that made me feel good about my odds of getting into a furry party. Sword fighting! Oh, Careful, don't hit hard. Yeah. We did a bunch of activities like this. We were at this convention for three days, by the way. The first real step I wanted to take was to interview people and ask them if they knew about these parties. But you could only interview people at this con if you had a press pass, which like how- Alrighty, so here comes the next part. 
He actually fucked over a business for this. Was I supposed to get a press? I got oh, hired no. to run the furry of the week section of Furry Weekly. Doc so this this is an actual legit fucking thing. First of all, so like make fun of this shit all you want that there's a Furry Weekly fucking news thing. But it's like an e yeah. It, yeah, it's like an e-zine, yeah. And so yeah, he it's... actually sits there and says that he wants to be a contributor. Emailed and said, hey, I want to be a contributor. Emailed the editor. And they said, yeah, sure. And he's like, I guess, I don't even know if he submitted an article. But uh, I don't remember anyway. Knowing him, he probably is like, I worked with Mr. Beast. <laughs> oh, you're incredible hired. But around the fur con, uh, around the fur cons, we usually call him Mr. Feast, but we don't talk about but that. He actually got like brought on like on a test basis, and then he uses the fact that he got brought on on this to then falsely obtain a press pass at the furry con. So everything he's done so far is worse than the furries. He's like making fun to, of. Unquote, yes, absolutely. Quote unquote, expose. Yes. This is just amazingly like ironic. Yeah, he's a complete asshole. Uh, um, so honestly, I might just go ahead and like invite you to join the team. Lil Uzi or Playboy Cardi? What? Lil Uzi or Playboy Cardi? I don't know what those really are. Are you into the fun side of the furry community, or are you more into the dark side of the furry community? The fun side, of course. Yeah. I wasn't really getting anywhere, and this guy started speaking in Chinese. And I was about to quit until... Side note. I just saw a Toriel costume. <laughs> hey, Mr. Big, how you doing? I'm going over furry drama of an asshole that big being a furry. Um... <laughs> for content actually one of the things that i have to take with going back to school is i gotta take a language and i'm strongly looking at taking chinese yay do it i mean it's so popular in like business languages and shit. Yeah. so like, the next thing that you get into work. is cringy weave content well <laughs> that would be japanese kiwi i can also take that and that was the second weave. thing <laughs> um, just because I've worked with several Japanese people before and it'd be slightly effective more so to communicate um, and Korean but they don't have Korean as a language opportunity otherwise I would have probably taken that that's, that's weird they don't have Korean with how much like Korea does business with like the West yeah um, but yeah so I, I am actually looking at taking up Mandarin because of the business side of stuff because I'm going to be taking a lot of business shit Duolingo of... has a lot of work to do. Huh? Duolingo has a lot of work to do. Yeah. Hoot hoot. <laughs> I uh I pick up languages a lot quicker than you think, Kiwi. I know kind yeah. of German is kind of very, very, very elementary level, but I do know Spanish enough to actually hold a conversation rough mm. in fucking Spanish. Mm. And on top of English and then we'll learn Chinese. I heard this. Me and my friends are hosting a little party this weekend. It's going to be a blast. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, for Celestia! Oh, oh, my God. Not anything on SFW. Oh, okay. <laughs> do a lot of people here do that? I think it's at every furry convention if you look for it. She thinks it's at every furry convention if you look for it. So now it was... He literally... The what a only surprise. thing of value there was to literally repeat what the fucking person just said, but make it say, Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, and they and used to do the same with Comic Con too. Yes. They used a princess. They used a princess. They used a princess Celestia picture as a promo image. Oh my god, I'm so mad. <laughs> it's Princess Celestia. You can't do that. Okay, anyway. You've obviously not been on the internet long enough, Kiwi. There's a lot worse there. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna have a day where I'm gonna go over the cupcake videos with Kiwi. Wait, what? Yep. It's time to look for it. Now, the first plan was to go into the expo hall and talk to people who looked like they would be uh, attending. Ah, the next disingenuous thing is coming up. These furry. Major disingenuous thing. I mean, everything we've seen so far is disingenuous, but. Parties. Oh, Sigma Chan. Would you want to buy me the Night Terror blanket tapestry for $200? Yeah, I'll buy it. Okay. Now, I didn't find any leads there, and it was probably in part because I had a giant camera following me, but I did find a bunch of furry smut magazines. Now, the weird part about this is that this is completely in the center of the expo hall. Like, you could just wander in here if you're, like, an 8-year-old, a 9-year-old, a 10-year-old. There was li Wrong. Wrong. Very wrong. Literally, like, a hundred of these booths, and there was even stuff written by a guy named Sigma. And they didn't even check for my ID when I purchased it. 
Wrong again. A little higher. I purchased it. Okay. This is going to be retarded in a second, but uh, just to go, back through, go back through. Yeah, I, I'm leaving it paused here. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um, okay, so this is coming from, uh, I want to say it's Brandon is boring. Uh, let me take this off screen. I'll check really quick while I kind of explain this. But basically when he went and he registered for the event, first of all, he had to give his ID. And on that, it would have had his date of birth. So what do you know? They would have been able to date him initially right off the bat. And then, um, sorry, trying to talk and do this at the same time is proving slightly harder than I anticipated. Uh, and then, oh no, did I take them out of here? No. Is it in the furry playlist? Yes. <laughs> Boring <laughs> Keith. Boring Keith is the guy. Yeah, I have a whole furry playlist. Uh, oh my Warren god! Keith is... <laughs> Warren Keith is a video that I actually recommend going and watching. There's this other one by Michael Manis that I do not recommend because leg... this guy says allegedly, supposedly, uh, all opinion, blah, 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 like all the same fucking phrase over and 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 over again, like every fucking five seconds. Anyway. This guy would have been ID'd when he actually went and got his badge. So they would have given him a different badge had he been underage. There's actually special badges that uh, Boring Keith actually said that he knows from this con specifically. Oh no, my camera failed. That uh, they would have gotten. And so then on top of that. Hold on. There we go. More or less fixed. Then on top of that, the actual section that he went into is uh, actually like segregated off. Like he would not have been able to get in there as a kid. It is literally like roped off as 18 plus and they will check your badges to make sure you've got the right badges going in. So yes, he didn't have to provide ID to buy the smut in the adult section after he'd already been flagged as an adult on his badge well so why would oh, you bring a, a kid in an adult section well that's just that's, leading, that's leading to trying to tag the degeneracy onto the furry community because you know no. the, the furry community is heavily tied to the lgbt side of things and what's one of the biggest thing with the lgbt side of things they're coming after your kids it's not it's not that hard to like string along and string together. Come on. And they didn't even check for my ID when I purchased it. A little higher. I purchased it. Oh, it's a That's femboy. <laughs> it was a guy. It was a guy. The next place I was going to look for people was going to be at these furry dance competitions. There's two dance competitions. There's the freestyle dance competition, and then there's the actual dance competition. Now, for the actual dance competition, I prepared a full choreographed dance, as well as my own song. I submitted a video as to what my dance was going to be to the judges, and they said I didn't even have to come to the preliminaries. My entire life, I was bullied. Nobody loved me for who I was, so I became somebody that I wasn't. And it's taken me a long time to become the person that I am now. I knew that if I won the finals for something like this, I would get into a free party. So to prepare, I decided to join the freestyle dance battle. And maybe if I won this, people would also want to get naked with me, I think. Jokes aside, this dance battle would go from the most impressive dancer of all time to exactly the type of person that you're thinking of right now. You were bad, Awesome. Sigma Paws doesn't know how to actually dance, but he can do a bunch of magic. Magic Mike stuff. And against all odds, uh, he actually made it to the finals. 11. This victory was short lived, however, because I got my ass kicked by somebody in a rat tail. <laughs> it was a very humbling experience to get my ass kicked by somebody in a rat tail. All my plans to prove the existence <laughs> of furry parties were failing. At this point, I lost pretty much all hope. But I still had an ace up my sleeve. I'd been making tons of friends throughout the convention and DMing them constantly. And I was getting hit on a decent amount. Jesus fucking Christ, I can't even read that.
I am not reading that. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are, Kiwi. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> Jim, I won't even ask. I won't even ask. I'm supposed to not I just imagined the most horrible thing ever, and I'm going to get extra bullied if I do it. <laughs> uh, hope you have a good rest of your night. Hit you up tomorrow. Here, I read it. Them out, so I thought one of these would lead into a furry party. However, I had a bit, a really dumb bit that I thought was funny. Business cards. <laughs> Wait a minute, did that say what I think it said? Because his editing skills are superb. Yes. If you're having an orgy, invite me. Yes. Brandy's on stables. Yeah, I had to walk in. What the f***? Yeah, I'm on the back, too. And then, if that doesn't work, we throw our own. Oh, my f***ing God! <laughs> <laughs> and so, I got... <laughs> oh, no! I printed 250 of each of these cards, and my plan was to distribute them throughout the convention. When I found somebody that I thought would fit the bill of being in these furry parties, I was just gonna give it to them and be like, hey. Let me know. But I put one down on a random yeah. table at the convention, kind of as a joke. I received an invite. Oh, hey, what have you, you done? What did that say? Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm not the one hosting, but I can get you the link. Oh, hey, what have you, you done? My heart's beating. That's really crazy. It's not the only thing that's gonna be beating. <laughs> This may look like the face of a happy person, but it's actually the face of a man about to have a face full of fur. Naked fur. And this is Travis's finger because he doesn't know how to use the camera. All right, Travis, let's go. <laughs> wait, what are we? Wait, Anthony, don't. And just like that, I was added. It's real. To the chat. It's actually 100% real. This must be what Oppenheimer felt like when he just. I swear to God, his fucking editor is Helen Keller. Like, I've paused here because I know it's fully blurred because he held his hand steady for a second. But Jesus fucking Christ, they could have put a slightly bigger blur box on the fucking phone just with the moving around. Like, I could have done that. I straight up cut out whole sections and blurred the entire fucking screen, which is something that the fucking editor did not do. Discovered the computer <laughs> box. <laughs> Joke business cards. Like, this wasn't supposed to be real. This was fake. It was done. It was so I went here to prove this thing exists that I've heard about for all this time. And when I find out it exists, I'm going to play like I'm shocked. Just fucking shocked. That, oh my God, the thing that I'm here to put on display of degeneracy is actually fucking real. Nah. It was a stupid bit. That one business card got me invited to five furry parties. So now I had a decision to make as a grown adult. Do I get naked with a bunch of furries and let them explore my body? The party I decided on had 11 people in the group chat ranging from 45 to- All right, so you are going to see my editing probably coming up here shortly. So okay. everywhere right. that I edited that is full like edge to edge screen blurred and it's actually blurred twice plus a glitch effect just to make sure and i deleted out a section he left basically as blurred as you saw that cell phone oh boy yeah get ready Prepare to your 19 tits. to uh gun furries what the fuck? And now i can't really show a lot of this on youtube in fact i'm pretty sure this video is demonetized already so please uh like it and comment please fuck. also please fuck. He just posted his full cock in the chat, okay? <laughs> Holy shit, I cuddle so much. Here's a photo of my wiener. If everyone's all right with it, I wouldn't mind recording a few parts too. Thinking about pretty boys. I'm painfully attracted. How much do you want to bet he told these people ahead of time that he's going to be putting their DMs up on a 1.75 million sub YouTube channel? Well, can I also ask now that I'm like actually back in focus? To certain oh, Minecraft oh, content. Puppet show. There we go. Okay, go ahead. That, um, why is he surprised that people are sending, like, pictures of their genitals in a group chat about sex and meeting up for sex? Yeah. Yeah. Like, this isn't, like, you know, uh, fucking Minecraft, like, here's my, like, you know, idea for a server. Oh, there's a penis. Yeah.
like this is like we're gonna go fuck and then it's like oh yeah no here's my genitals like this is like one of the few times it's like you can actually say that it makes sense yep wait, 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 hold on did i just see tubbo and ranbu on those picture cards what were those little tiny cards that Bunny was holding? I, I don't know. We'll play. Well, we're going through that. I just want to get past it because I realized that his retarded fucking editor also left the full fucking images on the messages. Yes. That's why I was like, hold up and hit fast forward really quick. Yeah. Fuck. And a huge outlier, Schlatt. Oh! And Charlie Slimesicle. You leave Schlatt alone. Charlie Slimesicle. Oh my yeah. god. Minecraft YouTubers. Oh yeah, these are all people. Oh, oh Kiwi, you don't even know. This man has a a history of lying about uh, having famous friends, which is why the whole Mr. Beast thing is just funny as it is. He said this that is he a had. I'm like, what? <laughs> he said that he had PewDiePie come to his uh birthday stream during covid yeah he's and it shit. was uh proven that guess what it was a friend in a green suit in a green screen suit dressed up with like images enough to make it convincing dude he's God. literally the lily jean of fucking of like this side of the community yeah he, everything about him is fake he built yes. this fake life and he did it again and he had a bunch of other fucking youtubers like I think Charlie was in the list and stuff of Charlie people Slimes that, like, he invited to this thing. And, like, all of them were fake. It was all friends in green screen suits again. Oh, poor Slimesicle. <laughs> so it's, it's fucking atrocious is what it is. Like, this guy is loving yeah. building everything off of a fucking lie. But then he's got the balls to go out there and fucking humiliate these people like it, it technically was humiliating what you see will not look humiliating because again i've at least blurred it but i will give context i'm gonna be thinking about you tonight on my journey there was still a decent amount of time until the furry party so we went to a panel on how to be an influencer so raise your paws hands if you are on tiktok uh, I don't care. I be speaking fucking Spanish. Me gusta el helado. Hold up. That means I like ice cream. Hold up. I'm with your girly and she scream. Hold up. Ben didn't take it very seriously, though. He faked getting swatted. Someone called in to, like, the police saying that I was, like, like creating, like, C4 explosives. And I used the opportunity to dox my cameraman as much as I could. Oh. Oh, so the thing that he makes in the beginning of the fucking video that looks like it's degenerate and furry's talking about C4 explosives, that's his friend. So it's not even anybody there. But Good. he makes uh, it look like it's someone from the convention at first. Yeah, and remember, he used the CAPTCHA with the fucking words to make it stand out. Getting like C4 explosives. And I used the opportunity to dox my cameraman as much as I could. I'm, I work on Wall Street and I, I do some like social media stuff on the side. Uh, Travis Martin, he's my friend. Travis Martin says that. Travis Martin talk about that. Travis Martin said like, that's what I don't want to speak too much on behalf of you, but yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. That was like, it did too. I would have been the fuck out of you, do you hear me? T-minus two hours until the furry party, I had a decision to make. You're calling mom to <laughs> That's so funny. I got invited to one. Oh my god, Anthony, you cannot go. <laughs> but I have to go! Oh, I want to see the video, probably. Huh? What? Just like, maybe like... Ellington has got a point. What, what self-respecting human would dress up in a green screen suit and <laughs> to feed their friends delusion? Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I mean, if you paid enough. Yeah, I think that's I'd, honestly what it was. I'd do it for money. Yeah, I would do it for money. <laughs> I have no fucking shame. <laughs> Great, we're going to do that <laughs> Boogie 2988 interview later, Jim. Are you, wait, are you calling me fat? <laughs> Bro, did you just call me fat I'm, No, I'm doing air? the green screen. We'll make it work. Just because I told you I'm fat in private. <laughs> you, can, you can out me. Bro. I didn't even say you were like going to be boogie. Wait a minute. How come you turned this on me? 
I this thought you wanted to steal. <laughs> I've learned from I've learned from the community. <laughs> I've learned from this community. This oh is where God. I take you down and start my own channel. <laughs> I wanted this, and I'm like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? You're gonna get HIV and a burn your Ah! Wow, nice cock. <laughs> Whoa, it's getting steamy in here. Ah! What? What's that? Fan of the week and Travis I wanna join? Okay. <laughs> what? I'm not even- I'm not even- Dude, single pauses come so far. Think about it like this. Purchase the worst fursuit you had of all time, mm. and then get invited to a huge furry Win a dance competition. He didn't. Gonna win tomorrow. And with only about 30 minutes until the party, I was having a mental breakdown. Even role playing didn't make me feel any any better. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, and now the shit is going to begin, but I'm going to take a brief intermission because I've been drinking water like a responsible human being. A few moments later. Here on out, when you see anything that's blurred edge to edge, it is going to be uh, the stuff that I edited. But like when he's back in his microphone sitting and talking about stuff, I left that in as normal so it'll come through normally. So this will go back and forth between like blurred edge to edge to like full regular video. And I want to know if like at any point you guys can see like anything that I was trying to cover up. There's one section that I thought might come through and it's it's only because this this fucking image is burned into my skull. Um, but I just want to see if you can promise me through. <laughs> I just uh I I can still trauma see it. Um, so I'll, I'll see if you guys can actually see it. I'll see you guys on the other side. He's getting molested. But the first thing I attended was a uh, no clothes party, for lack of a better term. Now, I begrudgingly went to the hotel room where this was happening. The hotel room that oh is, God, by the way, in the- Crossy 3D model. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you glad you're here, Kiwi? I knew you would fucking love that. <laughs> There's more of that that I left uncensored because it doesn't actually tie directly to any personas or anything like that. The exact same hotel as the convention itself and was immediately greeted with a big schlong. That was his editing. So you get a taste there of like what they're using, the pixel boxes and everything. Mm -hmm. Bye. Is this the new figure there? Literally, I just told them my name was Sigma, and they said I could enter as long as I took my clothes off. <laughs> now, I had a choice here. Do I... Co wait, wait, is, is Huggy still here? Huggy. Yes. Are you the door bear? Are you the... There's a yeah. door bear, and I need to know if that was you. And you're not, Are you the leader bear in the bed? Oh my god, it's red! Are you the door bear or the leader bear? <laughs> now, I had a oh, choice no, here. Do I commit to the bit and get naked with a bunch of furries, or do I say, I, I did it. I proved the existence of these things. I can leave now. Of course I left. Now I'm just kidding. I got naked. I, uh, I got the inversion of telegram. Wait, what's your you can call me Sigma. Everyone is completely naked. There's so this is the first time he's actually breaking laws like yeah he garbled the voices and everything else but he's still again it's two-party consent state i don't gotta pull it back up he didn't get their permission to uh yeah you did hear jim by the way belinda uh but yeah um Hi, belinda. <laughs> he didn't get their permission to record their voices in this whole interaction and everything let alone to use in a youtube video for again a one and a three quarter million sub youtube channel i'm just gonna keep driving that home okay i keep imagining <laughs> i keep imagining the nook's cranny theme song like they're high or something <laughs> it, it sounds so goofy if you were to listen to the nook's cranny song right now <laughs> with that picture of them naked <laughs> i can never go back to play animal crossing i can't do it anymore <laughs> 
Yeah, by the way, uh, side note, totally derailing for a second. If you didn't check out Teddy's retirement arc on Twitter, I, hu- I highly recommend you go do that. <laughs> maybe two people in their uh, fursuits. So I like awkwardly get directly in the center of the bed and I'm sandwiched in between like four people on either side. And I am naked, by the way. So this is already like way past what I was expecting to do. Everybody was just petting each other and talking. I am kind of subtly thinking this man may be closet homosexual. And like he's, <laughs> he's too much of a dude bro to be like outed. Like, it would be bad for his channel. Mind you, he actually just got engaged after this video came out. Oh, no. Yes. You know what this reminds me of? What? The fucking South Park thing, that, that <laughs> episode where that guy goes undercover for uh, as a prostitute. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, I'll pay you for sex. It's like, all right, we'll move in. No, I just need to make sure. And he, and he does it anyway. <laughs> like, that's what he just reminds me of. It's like, no, I got to make sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll do the gay thing. I got to make like, sure. It's like, one thing is enough. Like, okay, so he did this. He didn't record anybody. And he had the audio. It's like, okay, you already did it without consent. But there was nothing really telling. Because, again, using the Animal Crossing 3D animation shit. Like, you can't link it to a fursona. And this guy escalates it. It was actually kind of wholesome if you remove all of the context. But then the person sitting next to me mentioned that there was a bona fide furry. Yeah, yeah, uh, Ellington, he actually is engaged to a, a woman, unfortunately. And yeah, it, it's sad. It's <laughs> How much longer are they engaged, though, is the question. Until they get married and she hopefully takes him for everything. I fucking hope that's the outcome. There's not I many people to. that, like, I would hope that for, but, like, this guy after this shit, he kind of fucking deserves it. Especially in once the, we get into the apology. And I lo- use that term very fucking loosely. In the divorce, I hope she takes the friendship with Mr. Beast. I hope she takes yeah. the friendship, too. <laughs> I hope she shows up in a Mr. Beast episode. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Teddy. I don't like those allegations. I'm not a YouTuber. Party happening Patrick. the floor above us. <laughs> you got something to tell us? I took the per- Yeah, I'm a creator. I'm not a YouTuber. Person up on their offer and went to the bona fide furry party. So I make shit. my way upstairs with this like random- Yeah, see all this shit? That's, that's me blurring this shit out. Like this is how heavily okay. I blurred it. And it's going to look kind of natural because it cuts back and forth with his cuts up on their offer and went to the bona fide furry party so i make my way upstairs with this like random person that i had just met you could tell a lot more before i blurred this what this person looked like (laughs) a lot more like you could tell that this was a whole ass like lobby of a hotel and everything and like could tell the color of the carpeting the elevator doors could see people walking in the background and shit I was pretty nervous that what I was going to see next was going to permanently be etched into my brain. There was a guy. So that was actually recorded inside the room, showing the fucking people. He actually took the camera, set it down, and hit record. So he's straight up recording people without their consent in a fucking bedroom. And these people are in stripped down states. I who I can only describe as like Discord mod who was kind of like the head honcho in this whole thing. He greeted us and was basically like, hey, let's do this thing. And we walk into the room. There's the largest person I've ever seen in my entire life. He's like eight feet tall. There's a person. Okay, can you tell what that is? (laughs) I feel like I'm doing a rickshaw test. Uh, I feel like this is an ink block test. And it, it, if I respond to it with my internalized trauma, how would you re- how would you respond to that? Okay, all right. That that wasn't what was on the bed. Uh what about you Kiwi? Can you <laughs> make a judgment call? Is that a man dabbing? No. Okay, I perfect. I can't tell Good. the blurred I, image. I see so got somebody. dabbing and trauma. Yeah, the uh the eight foot was the last thing that like I left in because that's obviously like falsified, but there was a lot more descriptive things in there that I cut out. So there was actually a cut. This is where I did it. I cut out describing information for this person. 
person straddled to his leg in underwear, thrusting. After I got into my underwear. So, I left this part in just so you can see that, like, he actually recorded this in a fucking hotel room. <laughs> Ninja saw it. <laughs> oh my god, it's a horse. It's so a, a hell of an investigation. <laughs> I love how I'm doing the inkblot test on everybody. I'm too here. scared to see what the uncensored version looked like. It was a lot worse, and like you could tell identifying things, especially like with the furry community. What he did here was fucking awful. And I will point out oh like god. where it gets really bad because I know the blurs. Underwear, I joined the fray. I think this guy wants you to jump on. Okay, so right here you would see somebody laying on a bed like oh, with no. uh uh some furry stuff on but not much else which le that leg i just okay and then he's standing up to get on the bed with them and there's a third uh person in the room that's him getting on the bed crawling up the leg to dry hump dude's leg Mind you, he did this all for a fucking video. I want to kill myself. I'd like to again apologize to my mom who's watching this video. Now, I didn't want to go the full length with any of these. No. <laughs> I didn't want to go all the way. I just showed enough pornographic material to possibly wanna... commit a felony. I want to. Well, I want to apologize to my mom for giving birth to me to make this video. <laughs> oh, and man. somewhere, your mom has to live with the fact that this is the career path. Her son is taken. Yeah. But he met I Mr. Beast. I mean, if Beast, it makes you know. him happy. He worked with Mr. Beast. <laughs> no, we all know that's not true, Patrick. Just play the video. <laughs> so I was kind of just waiting for the perfect opportunity to leave. You gotta straddle like this. Anybody would have tried it. So I pretended to. And I left that audio clear as day. So did you guys hear that? No. Oh, let me play it again. No, oh, please. So I was kind of just waiting for the perfect opportunity to leave. We'll go back a, a bit more. Turn captions on. Watching this video. Now, I didn't want to go the full length with any of these fairies, so I was kind of just waiting for the perfect opportunity to leave. You've got to straddle like this. Anybody would have tried it. So I for See you was the word on. I will say that much. If you want to read the captions. <laughs> Now, these were all men, meaning that this strap-on would be effectively a Russian doll effect. Um, <laughs> I never thought. It's like a care life. version of a human centipede. <laughs> oh, yes. I think I'm gonna be murdered tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, so this guy, like, straight up, like, as you can tell, obviously they were in... Uh, vulnerable states to say the least and this guy straight filmed them without their consent again in a two-party state this was the big fuck up and like he left in enough identifying factors at one point there is someone that gives him like a back rub kind of lightly and like he left the full like hand coverings from the fursuit uncensored and it sounds like okay yeah that wouldn't be that big of a deal but like People know fursuits. Like, they're unique. Like, this is as unique as, like, with me. Like, the car side, with Gigi in the car side. Like, I could tell you somebody's car, like, who it is, or I remember them just based off of their car. I'm sure, like, you guys might have other things that are very similar to that in whatever hobbies you have that, like, you can easily identify someone. Like, like if you're doing an RPG, you know what their character looks like. You know what their build of their character looks like. This is that yeah. identifying. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Question so, two. So this is like um you know, like dual party consent state. Would this also fall under um revenge porn? Because technically it's Yes. Yes, it would. Content. Since you have to ask, yes. <laughs> and, I was uh, just wondering, that... this is more than just um not filming without consent this yes. is content of a sexual nature now yes yeah 
Like, this is, like, several felonies big issue for him, and you'll see what the outcome was. Pretended to get a call from my roommate and then just left. Seeing Ben after that hour and a half made me feel like I was deployed in Vietnam and I was getting to see my wife after returning home. I just know it smells f***ing crazy in there. <laughs> so now he's just going a step further and seeing that they're fucking smelly and disgusting. All over you. The only thing left to do now was to win the dance competition. Oh, and, uh... I kind of almost want to bring up Boring Keith's video. We might for just this section. But in the meantime, just to play the other side of this, because he actually showed the other side of this dance competition. Because there's, I, I think the full lines are left in here, but I'll, I'll see. If it's not, I'll, we'll bring up Boring Keith's video for that small blip. Uh, Review Tech has been falling so far. Do you think he would actually sell his music at a convention i don't think anybody would buy it frank i honestly don't think anybody would buy that fucking trash and to be honest to be honest i saw some allegations recently i can't remember who i don't remember if it was um the girl that told him to buy the rope um or not but uh <clears throat> he uh somebody on on twitter had posted allegations uh it might have been it might have been Dark Side Flow, actually, uh, that he is actually using um, tracks from other artists, something that he's condemned in the past to make his music. So his music is actually sampled from other people. Plot yeah. twist, one of them is Tony Hits. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that crossover? Woo! Can you imagine that one, man? I am there for that. Like if I wouldn't be surprised. If that's the case, I am so down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We could do this. Be like Tony Hits. I think this man has been sampling your stuff without permission. I have Tony blocked, meaning I can unblock Tony and tweet at him and then block him still again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you gotta leave him unblocked a little bit to watch the shit show. Oh yeah. Well I can watch the shit show from behind the block still. So I just oh, have to go true. long enough for him to see it. Once that's I know that true. he sees it and he does his respond or whatever, done. <laughs> Lock him again. We'll just watch this shit show from safety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this could be funny. <laughs> well, that's a funny thing, Frank, is I actually got in trouble with the commentary higher ups that oh, I God. accused I, in, in like, it was a troll. It was like a three day troll. Okay. Of Tony Hits making AI music. So that's where the funny bit of it would be is that it would be taken from somebody who's been accused not just by me now. I've actually seen recent allegations from somebody else who didn't get shunned by com commentary um, that he also uses AI music. Dude, I remember that because I remember tweeting at him and being like, please tell me this allegation is false. This has changed my world. I feel like I was some sort of like extremely destroyed fan. He was like, no, it's not true. Oh, <laughs> like he was it. There was nothing better with that fucking shit than when Lucky Phil found the fucking part where he said it and he meant the opposite of it. And like, he said, yeah, I use AI music. And he meant, no, I don't use AI music. <laughs> it was like one thing. word to the positive. And I was like, that's all I fucking needed. <laughs> that is actually the most in, like, this is, that's the worst autocorrect that I have ever seen. And I've had some bad ones. <laughs> yeah, he wrote something like, I do use AI music instead of I don't. <laughs> it was like something as simple as that. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't not use AI. And, and I had caused such a stir on Twitter that like somebody picked up Lucky Phil, like I said, and uh, Fish, Faithful Fish, actually uh, picked up on it, and they were going through his past tweets, and they're like, "Well, what's this? Where you did say you did?" <laughs> Make up your mind. Which is it? Oh my that was god! So, it was so that, funny. That just... And then everybody's like, "You're trying to ruin his life." And it's like this is literally one of the mildest trolls I've ever it, seen. It was. I feel like it was. Like I would have dealt with Christ. I've had people say worse fucking shit to me. Okay. Like, 
that was the lightest fucking thing ever. And I was trying to troll him into doing his music live and just having a Tony Heads live concert was my end goal. <laughs> <laughs> it would just be good for the fans then yes like it would be like, great for his fans or whatever but it would be fantastic for fucking content like to actually get him to the point that like he frustratingly makes music and proves it and it would have been way funnier if he did actually use ai music <laughs> because you like, imagine he did it live <laughs> and it just proved it live <laughs> In the dream world, I was going to have Jerry Banfield and Tony Hitz face off. <laughs> Can you picture a, like a rap battle or like a music feud, like Def Jam style yep. between Banfield and Tony? Yeah. <laughs> Making uh, diss tracks on each other. Man, that's so disappointing using AI in the only setting. Only ceiling, but extremely lazy. Yeah, exactly. And the funny thing is, Frank, that shit actually came to me from people he didn't like that were actually in the same field. And I asked them, uh, like, point blank, because I don't know jack shit about music. And I said this over and over and over again to Tony. Over and over again. I was like, I don't know fuck all about music, but the people that I do know, which just so happened to be his worst enemies, were telling me that, like, you not only steal and sample music from other people, but, like, it's either that or your music is so horribly elementary that like you should stop making music. It's one or the other. Confused either it's... for AI. <laughs> like, it's that bad. The... It's confused for AI. I bet the, I bet the music. I bet the music I make as a hobby would be better than his. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. You probably have actual passion behind it. <laughs> well, yeah, I try, good. even though. <laughs> And you know what? I'm honest about it. They're loop tracks. I make as short little things because I think they're cute, and I just upload them. So what? Well, Teddy, you already have more um, uh, credentials. Yeah, Teddy. It, it wasn't that like he went crazy. Like I, I could have dealt with him going like full spurred. The thing that got me was being pulled into a fucking call with Tony Hits, not knowing that people had gone at his ass for like 45 minutes to an hour. Before I came in there and I'm like, hey, Tony, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? It's hey, me, God. So, and like, I actually came in there like this. Like, I'm not fucking around. I wish it was almost recorded because you would hear how calm and nice I came in. I wasn't like vitriolic like I am with fucking Review Tech. I was like, hey, buddy. I was like, so what can you prove that like, like your music is ai and all this shit and i was like just going at him lightly and all of a sudden it became well why does he have to prove it why does he have to prove it this is ruination blah, 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 blah. and a bunch of fucking drunk retards fucking yelling at me all right well the next time somebody has lollicon why do you have to prove that they're not a pedophile yeah yeah <laughs> like like let's turn your argument on your head christ I, and it was just a fucking joke and it's like it just got it got ruined by other people actually Teddy, the biggest thing to take away from that is Tony didn't ruin the joke. Other people ruined it on his behalf because I don't know. They wanted to keep milking the fucking cow. And now Tony isn't funny anymore. <laughs> yeah, it was because a couple people and you know, also that the people in the call we're tired of the tits trolling. Well, that's bullshit because they kept going on with the same fucking bullshit, to, uh, Teddy. Like, because I found out that, like, they were the ones, the ones in the call were the ones that were okay with him being trolled for fucking 45 minutes. And, like, not even 20 to 30 minutes after I got in there, I'm being pulled in to, like, talk to, like, I'm not going to name names because I'm not an asshole like that, but... A couple people pulled me aside and then started like going at me because they didn't like the troll. I guess I I don't fucking know. Yeah, so I'm a little I'm a little spiteful spiteful and vitriolic now because of that. But anyway, I remember being insanely angry when you told me. I, was like, <laughs> I remember I was like, oh boy. Yeah. I, Hold me back. Hold me back. <laughs> well, especially after I found out that some people after I had left, like wasn't even there to defend myself, decided to also still continue to say shit about me. Like that that was fucked, in my opinion. 
Yeah, but every it was all funny, haha, when Diorio was doing the shit with Bunty King. Yeah. Which I, yep. I, you know, and I'm not saying that to be like condemn Diorio. I thought it was hilarious on the same level. Yeah. But it's just like, if that's the case, then we need to have that consistency then at least. Well, again, it's this something is... that like, okay, if somebody came to me and called me <clears throat> a fake car guy or some shit, like some shit that I know inside and out and like was trolling me with that shit, I would have fucking played into it after a while. But, like, Tony doesn't have the wherewithal to do it. And then everybody else just had to ruin the joke. That that was the shitty part of that. Anyway, I derailed so extremely far that I don't even remember where I'm at. It was kind of great, was... honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they're distracted. Finally, we could have peace. <laughs> no more of the awkward furry sex. Yes. Uh, well, no, we're done with the furry sex. We're past furry sextum. So now, oh, thank God. now we're going... I wanted more Kiwi trauma. <laughs> you now, always want me to be tra traumatized. Now we're going to go into to him, him, uh, him actually, like, how do I want to put this? Him actually, like, gaining access to a dance competition that he was not invited to. So, like, there was this ongoing dance competition, which is, like, something I've seen now with, like, looking at a lot of this furry stuff. Something that's happened regularly at furry cons. Like, they'll have, like, either a talent contest or a lot of them will have, like, the dance competitions. Because, again, it appeals to a large portion of the LGBTQ side of it. And a big side of it is them liking to be dancing and old music and all that, right? And the theater of it. So, these people, like, really go hard at some of their shit. Well, he got eliminated from it. So what oh, is no. his what is his <laughs> idea? His idea is to crash the fucking dance competition at the end after he's recorded sex with people without their consent. This all happens after all this shit. It is linear. He decides to do a one more fuck you to these guys and crash the fucking dance competition and just is like puts like the host and a bunch of other people in like awkward positions. And I'm gonna point out something key here. And we went to a furry rave. Ah, I love. You notice how he actually constantly has to be the fucking center of attention and everything too. Like the dance floor was cleared for him to do that shit. Uh, furries. My favorite part of this whole journey was still yet to come. The grand finals for the dance competition that I was told I got an invite to. But before that, let me tell you what I think about furries after being a furry for so long. Most furries know that what they're doing is cringe, which in my head is like the first step towards not being cringe. It's just- Really? Oh, the lack of fucking self-awareness. I was about to say, if oh, only you lack. had that level of awareness. <laughs> Fuck, dude. If only you could look in the mirror. Oh, man. I I think the version that um, that some furries go through is that, like, yeah, we think it's weird, but it's our weird, and it's not your weird. We can do whatever we want. If you don't like it, okay. But we are going to appreciate us and have fun with it. But his version of weird is, we know that we're weird and stupid. Anyway. Like, huh? Uh, not to interrupt you, but yeah, Teddy, I, I was going to say, I, I'm not trolling anybody anymore because clearly, like, people act like they're built for it, but they're not built for it. So, I'm just going to say that much. And, Belinda, I can tell you more about Tony at the end of shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> Something that most of them enjoy, and a good chunk of furries also have some sort of neurodivergence. I'm kind of on the spec. So, here, he labels all furries. All of them as autistic. Wow. Like, that's the that's only reason amazing. why they're furries is because they're autistic. That's amazing. Yeah. They call it ten, autism. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Trump, I, I want to call Asperger's, and this has been a great gateway for me. Do you think a lot of people in the community face similar challenges? Yes. In many cases, the furry cons like this, it's easy for you to feel welcome. I was an anti-furry before I joined the fan fandom. I made fun of furries. Furries were treating me better than uh, my supposed friends. Everyone here is just comfortable in their own skin, showing off who they are. I like it a lot. I think it's really cool. Making fun of people is fine, but bullying people is different. Like, I Oh, and you mean like recording revenge porn and without consent is... Uh, what level would that be there, buddy? What level would that so fall bad. under? 
Huh? Fucking stupid! <laughs> Fuck! I like the juxtaposition there, making fun of people is okay, but bullying is bad. When yeah. literally, like, it's the same thing. But, like, the cognitive dissonance he has to say to be like, I'm morally okay doing this. Yeah, yeah, he's got to right moralize that. Yeah, absolutely. Because otherwise he looks like an asshole. I mean... Clean rules! All, Keep doing it! I'm kidding. All the shit that happens afterwards makes him look like an asshole, too, but, you know. I can recognize yeah. that furries are cringy and silly, but also recognize that it's a great community for people who aren't welcomed elsewhere to be. I'm dishing all this heat out, and I'm fully understanding that people are going to comment saying that I'm less hot Timothy Chalamet. I should have stayed off YouTube. My haircut sucks, my face sucks, and my nose is too big. I understand those Bring things. Up. I'll rate the furry And you have a weak chin, sir. You missed that point. You have a weak chin. Community, a solid 8 out of 10. Now the only thing left to do was to win this dance competition, so I checked the list of finalists. I wasn't on it. <laughs> That's crazy. What the fuck? I was the only person that made their own song, and I didn't get into the finals. And listen, I take losses with stride. I'm not gonna, like, crash the dance competition. So this is so fucked up. Like, this is just downright disrespectful. Like, just the shit that you're about to see. Because, like, that is one thing I will say with the furry community. There is a lot of respect. Like, there's... I've covered it where, like, okay, they don't agree with the politics of one side or the other. But ge generally, there's a lot of respect. I what were you saying? I just love how he's like, I made my own song. It's like, that'd be great if it wasn't just a dance competition. Yeah. Like, that'd be like, you know, me showing up to like a dance competition and handing out like homemade cinnamon rolls and be like, I should have been in the finals <laughs> because I know how to bake. <laughs> like, that is fuck all to do well, with to dancing. Be fair, to be fair, it was. I'm not uh, gonna draw. I should have been part of the art competition. It was an independent like song that he made for the. For the dance competition. He actually had a dance with it. So, like, he did have a full choreographed dance. But, like, come the fuck on. Seriously, though. <laughs> By the way, this is his amazing song. Now, if you go back and you wait, where is it? So you got what is going on right now? Right here. Watch the announcer on the left. Don't watch him dancing. Watch the guy on the left. I'm going to play this. I'm actually going to drop it down for speed. Just watch what he's doing. <clears throat> See him talking and gesturing? Like, he's actually saying shit right there that he cut out where the guy's like, no, you need to stop. You need to go out and dance where this is not appropriate and everything else. <laughs> Now, there was actually more said. Like, they're like, that's fucked up and everything else. Like, uh, I could play it with the boring key thing, but I think you get enough gist from there. But yeah, you can actually see, like, the guy, he overrode, like, what the guy was saying on the mic just to put in his song with this fucking stupid dance and everything because they didn't want him there. And they were like, no, you need to go. You need to go. Please stop. Don't do this. No, don't. Like, this dude actually broke consent. <laughs> This dude is a painful narcissist. Right? Like, it actually hurts to see how narcissistic this dude is. Oh, my God. Well, we're oh almost boy. done. So he's going to declare success here. I I'm sure you're... I'm sure you're fully aware of that. I got what I wanted. Feel good, Sigma? I got what I wanted! Like a fucking petulant child. There's like 100 business cards left. I'm going to sell them over on Anthpo.com.
He's going to sell the business cards. Um, they're cheap, and I'll give you some exclusive content. Okay. Mwah. Hey, lovely people. All right. So that, again, as you can see, it was my censored version on my channel. It's an unlisted video right now. But so from this, again, he makes the new version, which it begins out the exact same, but it gets weird. Oh, no. So we still have the puppet animals, but notice how, like, the chapters are here. So there's how to become an influencer, the dance. So yeah, he he flips some stuff around, and so we'll just play this. Me invited to five furry parties. So now I had a decision to make as a grown adult. Do I get naked with a bunch of furries and let them explore my body? The party I decided on had 11 people in the group chat, ranging from 45 to 19 to uh, gun furries. What the fuck? And now I can't really. Still showing a fursona there, by the way, with a gun show a lot of this on YouTube. In fact, I'm pretty sure this video is demonetized already. So please uh, like it and comment. Please fuck. Also, please fuck. Oh, he just posted his full cock in the chat, okay? Still showing the persona there. <laughs> Holy shit, I cuddle so much. Here's a photo of my wiener. If everyone's all right with it, I wouldn't mind recording a few parts too. Thinking about pretty boys. I'm painfully- Still showing the personas there. Attracted to- Oh, it is his- okay. All right, thank God the fucking editor was smart enough. It was only his persona shown. Certain Minecraft content creators. Paul Jacobs, Rambo, And a huge outlier, Schlatt. Oh, so it's your dream. Bro, got the whole roster. Bro, got the whole roster. Bro, got the whole roster. Yo, Minecraft YouTubers. I'm gonna be thinking about you tonight on my journey. There was still a decent amount of time until the furry yeah. party, so we went to a panel on how to be an influencer. So raise your applause here. So he goes to the fucking thing, blah, 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 two hours. And like everything remains the same until here. The breakdown. Even role playing didn't make me feel any, any better. I'll see you guys on the other side. Seeing Ben after that hour and a half made me feel like I. So he just straight cuts everything out. No, cuts. no Animal Crossing character. <laughs> no, no Animal Crossing, no nothing. He had to cut everything out. And so I just want to show that, okay? So it makes absolutely no sense from a continuity-wise now because there's this whole thing and it's just from him leaving and then them meeting up afterwards, right? So what the fuck happened? Well, he received a lot of pushback. And I mean a lot of pushback from the furry community. And so he ends up having to take the video uh, unlisted to edit it and then relist it, which is a version he's using now with the Trevor Project attached, which is kind of fucked. And then issues this apology. <clears throat> I want to be clear. I want to clear up some misconceptions from the furry video. I removed two minutes from the video after speaking to one of the people involved and they asked to be removed. Hmm. Could it be because... You recorded them without consent in a two-party consent. They did not want the situation to become a huge deal for their sake. So he's passing blame right there already. I'm trying to avoid doing more damage than I've already done. But kept the video ultimately the same. Didn't put the statement in there or anything else. Just did a jump cut. I did not f film audio or video of anything sexual. Just cuddling. Guys, did you hear something about a strap-on and everything in there? Yes. Okay, would, <laughs> would you consider that sexual? Uh, automatically. I don't typically cuddle with a strap-on. I mean, well, I'm not a dildo. Not, you want to cuddle? You aren't cuddling right then. <laughs> no. Your video is going to get just, demonetized. It's, a, it's aggressive this. cuddling. You, you're not doing it right. Yeah. <laughs> really? Like... Uh, do we got to go to the George Not Found school of cuddling with consent? Anyway, <laughs> let's have, have bad <laughs> dragon and chill. Oh my god! What? Wait, 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 wait a minute, Kiwi. Don't wait ask minute, questions. Kiwi, 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 no, Kiwi. No, no, I don't look that shit up. Well, if you're not a furry, how would you know? Because it's <laughs> memed. I watched Josh Dub. Oh man! He made a video about <laughs> him and his friends in a VR thing doing a like a uh, furry. Watch... Furry thing. You watch furry VR. 
No! Oh, she just They were pretending to be furries. <laughs> Except that was more funnier than this guy. Wait, wait, Ellington in chat says, what? No, this is my emotional support strap on. <laughs> <laughs> This is a confidence builder, damn it. Please don't pull me out, man. Oh, my God. But he goes with, uh, I did not film audio or video of anything sexual, just cuddling. We've already clarified that. He probably filmed more than just cuddling. Uh, I am not here to defend myself. Just wanted to clarify, which is why he put the for their sake in the statement, you know, passing blame there, and then said, I did not film anything sexual just cuddling even though we heard in the original video and i wanted to make sure that you heard that just so that you know like he actually did record that kind of shit all audio was remade it wasn't remade it was just fucking removed uh the recording was mentioned beforehand i didn't see anything in there but maybe he mentioned it somewhere else in the video uh phone was visibly set up in the hotel room Okay, you could just say you're wanting to record the act. Like, some people like to replay their sexual adventures. Uh, and then afterwards, everything was heavily blurred or remade entirely. Okay, so he's referring to the Animal Crossing scenes is what he remade. The heavily blurred that you saw was me. Like I said, everything before that was just certain people pixelated out. And he actually did show portions of the room. You could see identifying shit in the room. Like, there's clothes. There was fursuit parts. There was... Um... Things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> I had spoken to lawyers and checks were done by YouTube, meaning he knows that he's in deep shit. That he actually had to go to his legal team to make sure this was okay, because I'm sure shortly after this, he figured out that he was in a two-party consent state, and the shit that he did was fucked up. That being said, this does not excuse what I did as anything less than horrible. Fantastic, you're a shit fucking person. I am disappointed in myself and so sorry to those specifically involved and to those who feel betrayed. No. Rewrite that. I disappoint. I am disappointed in myself and so sorry to those specifically involved and to those you betrayed. That's the wording the, the, you should have feel changed. betrayed. Yes, put, it on, put the onus on them. Yes. <laughs> like... um, for those criticizing me or per perpetuating stereotypes against the furry community... I want to apologize and emphasize that wasn't the goal in any capacity. Did you in any time see in that fucking video where he was being sympathetic or empathetic to the furry community, calling them fucking um, all autists, basically saying they're all degenerates, that these furry parties only exist at furry conventions, that there isn't such thing as a room party that exists in any other convention that he could have went after, and uh, that... Furries are wholesome human beings, you know, with putting their porn out in the open. Did you did you interpret that as being like uh, genuine towards the community? I believe that was his version of a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I greatly. But in reality, he's just a scum fuck. I greatly appreciate those of you who reached out with genuine concern. I turned the video into a fundraiser for the Trevor Project. This is all of his statement. He doesn't say why or anything else. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm curious too. Yeah. Because I said I know I said this to you, so I'm kind of curious on what Kiwi's opinion is on this. Sure. Shut up. Do you also not think it's fucked that he turned the video into a fundraiser to subsidize his apology to his fan base? Yes. I don't think that makes it any better. Do you know, you know what, what I mean? Like, do you know what he means by what he's asking there, Kiwi? So oh, basically, man. I he, think I'm the autist here. No, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. So basically, he turned the video into a fundraiser, meaning, hey, go and contribute to this fund on my behalf. Basically, making his fans contributing to the Trevor Project subsidize the fucked up video that he did. 
meaning that his I... fan base is ultimately paying for the video. Yeah, I fucked up. Now my fan base will pay you back. But it's in, but it's because of me. I'm great. I I I raised all this money for your charity. I'd ask Look Mr. Beast for help. I would ask Mr. Beast for help, but he's busy. Right? <laughs> but, but like I like I said, I think it's fucked up that he subsidized the apology to his fan base. Yeah, that's you know, absolutely like... true. I, I almost forgot to bring that up, so thank you for bringing that up. But yeah, like I I think that's abhorrent. Like truly fucking abhorrent. Like you're you're not just fucking going to sit there and like do all this shit and it's awful. Then you make the video substantially more awful by not like actually putting any effort into like maybe doing something else with the content because you supposedly again have 200 days worth of content. You had enough budgeted to sit there and make 3D modeling with fucking Animal Crossing, but you couldn't do anything else other than just cut everything out. Like that was your fucking choice, and now the video looks worse. And so it's what? Let's see if it's even gotten the views that the other one got. Okay, so this is at three quarter of a million views. This fucking whole thing. <laughs> Here's the comments section. So we got. Uh, let's see. We'll sort by. Uh, should we go top or newest? Let's go top. So these are the top comments. So. Next up, I pretend to be gay and have a loving relationship with my husband for seven years. I mean, that's basically what he fucking did, kind of. Uh, sure, Anthony, you were undercover. Uh, <laughs> just realized he cut the animation and recordings of him being in the parties. Yeah. Uh, you were the weirdest person in every room you walked into, by the way. Also true. Uh, bro asked his mom for permission to go to a furry party. I didn't even fucking think about that. Um, guys, I'm an actor. Trust me. It's all for the video. Guys, listen. No, guys, please. It's just a bit as he gets into the bed. <laughs> fucking hell, mate. You didn't spend 200 days undercover as a furry. You spent 165 days undercover as a YouTuber. <laughs> oh, shit. It's actually so gross that you filmed the party, they trusted you, and you secretly filmed an intimate moment and posted it online for people to laugh at. I'm surprised this didn't, this is, uh, even legal. Hot twist. Yeah. Uh, somebody yeah. better tell him. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as you can see, the comments aren't really going well for him. Like, I haven't seen anything that he's liked or hearted in this, so who knows? He probably doesn't even act interact with his fucking fan base. What's the newest? These parties happen at every convention ever. Why the hell is he acting like this is a new thing? Yep. I said that. <laughs> Local man child discovers parties. <laughs> Some of these fucking comments are good. When the douchebag from high school <laughs> makes a YouTube channel to continue his legacy long after he's relevant. <laughs> oh my god. These comments are brutal. I like them. Yikes. And They're all honest from... too. Yeah, they are. I mean, this is brutally honest because, again, the furry community found out about this. You're going to see a lot of people from that community sitting here. Unsubbed. I am a furry. Used to watch your content a lot. Actual waste of my time. Oof. Yeah, like, these are bad. Bro, it's so insecure, it's painful to watch. Like, imagine, this is your big return to YouTube after being gone for two... What, for a year. He was gone for a year, supposedly. Stay gone longer. <laughs> right, I agree. Just stay gone this time, please. So, like, here, just to show you his channel really quick. After that... So here's here's his award-winning videos, right? So he has his goodbye a year ago, returns with a hello video. The immediate next video is the furry undercover video. Then how I faked an alien invasion. I made 11 Tinder dates fight for my love and wedding announcement. Yeah, I'm sure none of that's staged at all. Right? I'm... I'm sure that's not like those Facebook, like, I walked in and my boss was racist. This is what happened next. Yeah. 
Like, Jesus Christ, this guy's just a total piece of shit. Um, if you see him, give him the middle finger. <laughs> he's become the furry Darman. Yeah. Uh, no, even worse, because Darman at least has, like, a good message in his videos. I mean, as, as fucking, like, cheesy as they fucking are. That's like, true. And there's still a good message there. The whole message in this shit is awful. That guy went to this convention in the video. Seems like one of those guys that have millionaire lifestyle but only cares about himself. Yep. Exactly, Frank. Fucking exactly. Oh, all right. So that is everything for the Anthony, Anthony Poe, Ant Poe, whatever, Sigma Paws, Lick My Ass, whatever the fuck you want to call this guy. What? Um, <laughs> Are you, did you just sexually okay. harass Jim. me alive on stream in front of hey, Kiwi? Jim, 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 Jim. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. He can't hurt you. <laughs> oh, oh no, Kiwi. Kiwi. I'm feeling pretty violated. <laughs> it will. <laughs> like, I'm feeling pretty. Uh, you know, I'm making a. You know, I'm going to go do my twit longer. Fuck it. Oh, Fuck man. it. Let me pay. Fuck it. <laughs>